Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'll give you basic understanding of the JSON format. JSON is a format like XML, which we can use to transfer the data between two systems. As we know, in REST API, most of the cases we are going to use JSON as a format to transfer data. So we should have basic understanding how we can write JSON, how we can understand the JSON. Here are a few points which I'll explain you and that will give us a basic understanding about the JSON files. First of all, complete JSON file should be written in curly braces. So we have seen many JSON files. I'll show you a few basic ones. So we have seen many JSON files and you will notice all the data is written between these two curly braces. So here we can see JSON file started with this curly brace and end with this curly brace. So JSON is written into curly braces. Now on the second point, in JSON files, data is stored into key value pair. So here we can notice all the data which we are sending is stored into the key value pair. Key is title over here, value is Spider-Man. Key is year, value is 1990. Key is released, value is NA. All the keys and values are in double quotes and separated by colon. We can have multiple key value pair, like first we have title, key value pair, then we have year, then we have rated. So all the key value pair are separated by comma. So key and value is separated by the colon. And key value pair is separated by other key value pair by this comma. Each key can have one or more than one value. So I'm just coming to the JSON file again. Each key can have one or more than one value. So here we can see this title is having only one value. Year is having only one value. Released is having only one value. But here if we notice director name is having more than one value we can have more than one director of the same movie. So in that case, when we have more than one value, more than one values are placed in this square brackets and we call it array. So we can use array if you want to store multiple values for the same key. So here, if we have more than one value, we are going to store it into the form of array. Last is a key can have sub key and values. So here sub key and values and this is called objects. So I'll show you one complex scenario. I'm moving to one more. So that's my complex JSON file. Here if you notice fields in the field we have some sub values. So this key has more than one key and value as a child. So child is also started with the curly brace. Here you can see field is a key, but we don't have direct value. We have multiple keys or value inside it. So here if we see it, that's a key curly brace. Curly brace means body of this key started. And again, summary. Summary again has a child keys and value. So summary has one key like required and the value is false and if we see it over here uh, one more key summary is having which is having some more keys and values so that's a complex scenario i'll show you one more example if i want to have a key like my key could be i am just writing a small json file for the address my key could be address but address can have address line 1, address line 2, address line 3. So address is further divided into the key and value pair. We call it object. So that's my object. Object again have the key and values inside it. So here inside this address I have first key which is address line 1 and the value whatever the value you want to give. So I'm just giving first lake stone 
comma separated and next is address line 2 and I'm just giving the line 2 over here in the same way we can have any number of keys and value which is the child of this address key so here this address is called it's an object an object have multiple key and value pair inside it so here if we notice over here uh, I'll take one more example if we talk about the schema so schema is an object which has multiple keys and value as a child and all the child of the schema are are placed inside this curly braces so here we have seen few examples by which we can easily understand what is JSON and now we can understand how to write JSON and how to read JSON so we are going to use this JSON format while automating our REST services we will write a lot of JSON request file and we will understand a lot of JSON response files but keep remember these points that will be helpful while understanding or writing the JSON files that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video hello friends hope you are enjoying our videos here we have created a lot of video courses which are specially designed for software testers this is the list of our courses we have more than 30 unique courses which you can buy in dollar 200 if you want to buy any 10 courses you can take it in dollar 100 and you can buy any individual course in dollar 15 you can contact us on email or the number which i have provided for these videos